If you are as old as I am, old enough to qualify as an old, then you probably remember something called the Chirp or the Nextel radios. This is one of them. This was probably the most prolific one. We used to call these Chirps. You had a PTT button on the side, and you could literally talk to other people that were in the Nextel network and literally carry on two-way conversations without having to call them. At a time when text messaging was still done on the little T9 interface, a lot of people loved this because it was really fast communication. And they worked great. They were very popular. Fast forward to today, and we're seeing this technology come back in the form of push-to-talk or POC over cellular radio services. They are literally handheld devices that have a SIM card in it that connect to a cellular network so you can make communication. And it looks a little bit like this. There's you. The other guy you want to talk to is over there. And then there's some level of cell phone tower repeating and probably this redundant second step is probably not needed. These have been all over the place because there's a number of cool ones that have been coming up. Randy's already talked about it. Uh, Jason did a really good job talking about one of the rapid radios as one of the companies uh, was mentioned. Ringway Manchester got involved as well. And, and this one I've seen more than anything. I see these show up on TikTok. You know, look at that thing. It looks pretty cool. It almost looks like a mesh-tastic device um, or just like a really cool small handheld radio. So these got pretty popular. They've been all over the place. And I think some of the marketing jargon, not with Ringway Manchester or Jason or Randy, they, they've all done a good job. I think Jason in particular asked a lot of good questions regarding, you know, what are you really doing here, right? And so that's what we're going to talk about. What they're really doing is letting you communicate voice, and they call it half duplex voice, right? So if you had your cell phone and you're talking and someone starts to talk over you and you can hear them in the background, that's called full duplex. It's half duplex, meaning you got a PTT to get the conch, to use a literary term, and that signifies your ability and your control of speaking. When you let go, then the other party can come back to you. So yes, it's walkie-talkie style, but that's where the similarities end. It is using the cellular network, again, going back to my crudely drawn image here, to facilitate your communication. People have been messaging, Josh, is this a good alternative to amateur radio? No, it's, it's not. And even though we use sometimes internet-assisted communications in amateur radio, Every one of those radios, if you were using DMR, Yesu System Fusion, or whatever, if you were line of sight, you could still go direct to the other person and you could have communication. These systems do not have that capability. They use the internet and the cellular network to facilitate those communications. So if at any time your level of risk, the, the level of risk you're willing to accept, takes out any of these networks, then those, those radios aren't going to work. They will not go line of sight point to point. Some do. There are some exceptions. I think Jason pointed out one of them that I was not aware of. So go check that out. I think it's made by Wushan. Regardless, if your level of risk that you want to have in your emergency preparedness planning doesn't account for a cell phone network going down, then these might work fine for you. So when, they, when people ask me, Josh, would you recommend these? You know my answer. It depends. It depends because... You could be in a situation where the cell phone network just doesn't go down in emergencies. And we've seen that. The cell phone network is so robust at this point that it's pretty resilient to even a disaster taking it out. So should you consider that? Sure. If you really want the the crudest level, no infrastructure whatsoever, then you probably should be looking at amateur radio, FRS, GMRS, CB as your primary modes of communication. Of course, I'm going to give it the nod to amateur radio. But if you're looking for something that just leverages the internet, is very convenient, does not require a license, and you can do cool things like creating talk groups, which has certain groups of people, and then maybe just emergency channels that could be you to a significant other or a core nucleus of people, these work great for that. Just know going in that if it says 5,000 kilometers, kilometers long transmit, distance call, 5,000 kilometers long distance call, a walkie talkie that is faster than a mobile phone. Yes, yeah, the new card. walkie talkie. See that? Yeah. So do know it's saying 5,000 kilometers. That's assisted via the internet. That thing's not communicating 5,000 kilometers. And you should definitely be leery of marketing like that. Look how many thumbs up that thing got in the comments. In fact, let's let's take a look at those comments. I'm doing this blind. We're just going to go in. If walkie-talkie requires a SIM card, then it's not a walkie-talkie. Good job. Uh, and Anto, that's the rest of your name. The walkie <laughs> This walkie-talkie is a mobile phone. It's a rebranded Tidera F14. 
uh, that uses push to talk over cell phone. You need a 4G data plan for that to work along with some type of POC cloud based service to work. Uh, see, okay. And uh, my faith in my faith in radio humanity is restored. There's a lot of smart people in the chats. As a ham radio operator, I can say without a doubt, repeat, <laughs> repeater, it is not possible. Uh, let's see. Take. Nokia phone for fifteen, put into walkie-talkie body, sell for two hundred dollars. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. So yeah, please do keep in mind that yeah, you, you should look into a lot of the stuff instead of just jumping in blindly. That's not to say that this might not fit in some kind of a tiered communication plan, like a pace plan. Please subscribe for more information with things like this, where I answer questions as well as show you how a lot of this radio stuff is done. I'm Josh K I six N A Z. I'll talk to you later. Seventy three.